Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR 06 Total Team Control. And in this 20th episode of our fight to the top as local racing legend, Mikey Kyle, we're going to finally end our legacy in the Craftsman Truck Series. And also, for the special occasion, it finally came in my Mikey Kyle Grease Lightning Truck Tank Top, um, inspired uh, by this series, whenever we had the Viper Band Truck. Now it's courtesy coils, but still awesome. Still got the, the great paint job going for us. Now mine came out faded, but that's fine. I, customer support said they'd just send me another one. So, yeah, it's like, it's like $27 after shipping and tax and everything, and if it doesn't come out right, they'll send you another one. So, you order one if, if you want one. But we have a full race lead over our teammate Bill Lester, who's driving that Checkers truck. I was going to eat Checkers in this video, but I, I don't have the money for that right now. And they're about to close, so i got to do the video. And then Bill Lester has almost a full race gap over Chase Montgomery. So things are going swimmingly. We just need to keep it going like that. Then you got the, the modified series where they got some kind of championship battle going on over there that we're not invested in. I'm barely invested in my team over here. Chase Diggs is 16th and then all my drivers at the very bottom just over people who are running part-time. They are the worst of the full-time drivers. I don't know why or how whenever I have given them the best equipment possible. Never mind the fact this was already the best team before I bought it. But yeah, we got a lot of money right now. It's it's great. So we got like, I think, six races left of the season. And the first of those races is at Las Vegas. Greg Biffle won some cup race. We got seventh on the first lap. I'm thinking I can make this second lap faster if I'm a little more focused. But, um, yeah, I think this, this outfit is pretty nice. It's orange hair with the black tank top. Especially considering that the red and yellow is a mixture of orange. Whenever you, you do that. I think I'll let off the gas a little bit too much right there, but it'll still be a better lap this time. So I've got straightaway speed. Come on! And we were already 7th, but now we're 5th! Awesome. And then Ryan Newman wins yet another Bush Series race. I think if you're watching the series chronologically, um, the, the hair being re-dyed orange kind of looks different now. A little more saturated than usual. But I was hoping it would look like this all along, not just go away at, at some point, slowly. Wow, that was not a fair way to start the race. I don't know, I just ran clear out of grip and then I kept on slowing down and whatever, but that didn't solve the problem. I am still slowing down and when we're just going backwards. Hey, I wanna keep having a big lead after this race. Can we not go backwards, can we go forwards? We're on legend difficulty and Las Vegas has always sucked to race at. I don't know why they always have problems with programming Las Vegas AI in these NASCAR games. But it was this issue in 08 and 09. Terrible. And then in Thunder 03, I get on the hardest difficulty and no deep no setup, whether it's deep old or something sophisticated is ever good enough to compete with the AI. But now I'm making up my positions back. I climb away all the way to the front of the field again. At least Bill Lester is doing fine. I think he's trying to work his way around Chase Montgomery right now. I, I can barely see out that far. See, I can run good whenever I'm all, all set and focused. And things are spread out properly. I get so much grip whenever I drive down on the apron like this. It's not supposed to be like that. But here it can be if your truck is tight enough. It's a tight truck. I don't know if I like that. I wish you were not in the way. God dang it. I had plans of setting up the corner, but then he was sitting in the middle of the track. I, I just I qualified fifth. But then I started the race, basically, in freaking 20th or something. I don't know how far I fell back. It's just tight. I have to... Drive way slower than I actually want in the corners. But we're always so fast in the straightaways. It's always been like that since we started up this team. Oh my god, why are y'all running me down here? 
Like, he's, he's trying to make me hit him. I, I don't know. You know, usually we have big old wrecks off the corners at Las Vegas with the AI. Like I said, they can never program, you know, good AI consistently for Vegas. But they aren't doing that now that I'm actually having to put in effort to be competitive. Which is strange. I guess something to do with rubber banding because the player is slow makes the AI wreck into each other because they can't stay packed together like that. That's very interesting. Would you please stop doing that in the straightaway? I'm trying to pass him, and he keeps getting next to my door or something just as we're about to enter the corner, and then I can't go up the track. Would you go away? God damn. How many times do I have to not get clear whenever I'm trying to move forward? He's not trying to move forward. He's just trying to get in my way. So... Finally, we're going to drive away from him and up towards this guy and try to get into 8th. I, oh, I should already be 8th. I could be running better than this pretty much the entire race, but no. At the start, I, I was expecting the truck to turn, and it didn't. We're, we're just about the halfway point now. Ron Hornaday has been battling for the lead with Bobby Hamilton, I think. I, I am turning to the right, okay, game? I, I was turning to the right. I was expecting to have to do that. Seems I can't use the apron anymore. Zip, zap, skibbity, bubba, butter. To the lead we go. I'm going to lead this lap. Awesome. Sauce. There's Bill Lester. He's first off pit road. Oh my god. Did Bill Lester win this race? I would love that. Okay, we're all right. No, I don't fix no damage. We're fine. I only have an option as far as, like, the setup, because I shouldn't be making it looser. I'm already loose now. If I make it tighter, goddamn, I was tight for most of that run. I just need to get to the end of the race with this damn truck. I did not need that. I need you to change my tires and put fuel in the truck. Why can't you change tires? What are we looking at? I don't understand that. That makes no sense. I paid a lot of money. I can't keep my truck off the track. Dude, what the fuck was that? I turned left and the truck just... Ow! You dumb bitch! You stupid fucking bitch! They destroyed my ass! I just pit that truck! Do I want to pit under caution? No. That was the answer to that question. I, I don't want to pit under caution. I just want the race to be over. We got two laps to go now. See, she's pissed off at me that she ran into me because my truck refused to stay off the track. I turned left and it just went straight up the track. And so now I have a truck that can't do anything right. Maybe it still has straightaway speed because this game is kind of dumb like that. Yeah, it has a little, but... God damn it, if it is not slow in the corners. Well, I was trying to pass people there, and now there's a caution. What did I lose? What, what came off my fucking truck? Okay, so that ends the race. We're just going to finish 17th. Well, that's terrible. And, well, Bill Lester won. Bill Lester did win. Cool. So he makes up points. And points on us, too. Oh, my God. He even led the most laps by just leading five laps. And then Chase Montgomery... He didn't finish that far behind him. So, yeah, they both gained on us. But I came to this race with a full race lead. So I don't think we have anything to be worried about. We didn't even finish at the back of the field all the way. I mean, you know, we only lost 78 points to our teammate. Well, I'm happy for him. We, we, Bill Lester got another win. So, we're happy for him here in victory lane. We're so happy for him. We're so cool. We got our shades and our helmet. And with that, Mikey Kyle's lead is down to 108 points over Bill Lester. That's still a big lead. We just can't keep having that bullshit happening over and over again. And now Chase Montgomery is even more out of the picture for both of us. Bobby Hamilton, Ron Horaday, whoever that guy is, yeah, they're all out of the picture now. I did not deserve that. That should have gone so much better than that. That's just bullcrap. Like, we could have finished ninth where we were. We could have moved forward again to like 8th, 7th, maybe 6th, but, but no, we finished 17th. So, yeah, I'm not running any of that. That's for the other guys I've hired. We're going to Martinsville now.
Jeff Gordon wins in the Cup Series. Uh, J Justin Haley's dad wins in Modifieds. I don't know. Dale Jr. wins at Dover in the Bush Series. Greg Biffle wins at Kansas in the Cup Series. Okay, now this is Martinsville. I'm good at Martinsville. We have been always good at Martinsville. We can start on the pole here. That's what we're going to do. Just don't miss the corners, like, awfully. Now, that was all right. Just don't nail the wall. Uh-huh. 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 Destruction! You know something that I've noticed, and maybe you've noticed it? We don't have autograph sessions anymore. And it's... Ow, why did you do that? It's quite apparent that there's a threshold once you make it to the Bush series. And because we're in trucks, we're not allowed to go past that by using trucks. So it only happens before Bush series races. Maybe that's the trigger, is the Bush series races. Okay. Yeah, I pulled away to about a, a full second lead over Chase Montgomery, and this truck did not turn into the corner. Did I do something wrong? I just try to hit the brakes at the same place every time, and I, I don't know if I actually did or not right there. But, I want to get Bill Lester past Chase Montgomery. Again, that's like the main goal every race is us to be one and two. Him to gain points on Chase Montgomery. Me chain gains some points Montgomery. <laughs> I tried to speak English. I, I couldn't do that. I had a stroke instead. That's okay. The, the strokes were cool. Oh my god, the curb. You, you can't touch the curb. That reminded me of this video that I, I saw. It's a great video. Um, it's a very funny video. I don't know. I'll just like link it somewhere. And then you should go watch it. Because I don't know, I could not stop laughing after I saw the video. But yeah, we got Bill Lester into second. Hopefully pit stops go fine. And this is just normal... Uh, points gaining race okie dokie so Mikey Kyle is pitting this lap I'm gonna make uh, Bill Lester also pit this lap just so we can keep everything simple and, and taken care of there's no one else on pit road right now so it means he gets a normal pit stop no fuck ups no traffic no one in his way no stress big lead so I better see Mikey Kyle coming off pit road before I'm done with my stop. Or as I'm done with my stop. That, that would make sense. Give me my water bottle. Emotional support water. Why, why do we need an emotional support whenever you're dominating a season like this? Where Where is... Oh my god, there he is. That's where he needs to be. No, stop cucking him. Stop, stop. Hey, that means that Bill Lester led that lap. Go. Why are you driving so slow? Go fast. It's NASCAR. NASCAR fast car. See, he led the lap because they put Mikey Kyle's pit stall before the start finish line. Which, it's not supposed to be like that. No. But, whenever you swap drivers, that happens. Wait, so now, how is the new leader, Chase Montgomery, how did that happen? What sense does that make? No. We're not doing that right now. That doesn't make sense. Oh, so we got a lap trucks, and we got to pass the leader. He's getting points, but like, out. why did you stop in front of me, you dingbat? This is stupid. This is just stupid. Does Deborah Renshaw still hate us? Because I, I can't actually do anything about that. That's got to go down over time. And we might get like a, a, a special voice message about it. Because usually it takes a race or something. Okay, well that's taken care of. Go back to Bill Lester. Try to take care of this business. Uh, Mikey Kyle, don't lose the lead. I need you to, to keep the lead. Okay, he, he's working on lapping somebody, so that should take care of that. We, yeah, there's, there's two more spots we can pick up. But I only want to pick up one of them. Looks like we're doing this quickly because lap traffic is, is slowing this guy down. Uh, get, get, there we go. Three wide off of turn four. Okie dokie then. I'm going to make the swap when we get to the end of the lap. 
that feels like the right way to go about it. So what we can do donuts to celebrate our Martinsville win with Mikey Kyle. We won this race in very dramatic fashion at the beginning of the season. What are you doing, you stupid oaf? There was no opening there. Don't throw that second place away. I, I, I just freaking got your ass up there. Lots of hard work. Sweep through this corner. Fuckle knuckle the, the damn curb that they got down there. Oh, we did it. Got one and two. I think we might have did that at the beginning of the season. Maybe it was one and three or something, but nonetheless, let's get over there to the star finish line. We don't need to give those fans a the donuts. These fans deserve the donuts. There we go. Now Mikey Kyle is in victory lane for his own trophy. This is the Kroger 250. That's cool. Uh, no, oh, there it is. That's, uh, I guess that's Deborah Renshaw. The guy version of Deborah Renshaw. And there's the message notification thing about it. That, that screen had said I had gained like 52,000 fans from one race in the middle of a dominant truck series season. I don't know. But, yeah, yeah, angry driver. Hey, what's going on, guy? Yeah, that, that, that was, uh, that was my fault. I could not keep the truck off the track when I left pit road at Vegas, which was quite a while ago, but you're still mad about it. Yeah. After Martinsville. So let's go see the standings where we go run that next race. Um, Bobby Labonte is leading the Bush series. Okay. There we go. Now it's a, it's a bigger lead over Bill Lester and Bill Lester's gap over Chase Montgomery is even bigger. Just a little bit. I, I think like maybe five points because they both led laps in that race and they're only one position apart. And uh, here's how Modifieds is going. Oh, the, the championship over there is intensifying. All these drivers that don't actually even exist in real life. But down here, uh, Chase Diggs has fallen back another spot. And then all these guys are still the lowest of the full-time drivers. I, I don't get it, dude. Do I need to, like, buy a different team? Because then I'd be worried about, like, not getting a really good paying sponsor because that's where the money's really at. And also we have five drivers on that team. But anyways, we're racing at Atlanta. Another one of the great tracks for us. Jimmy Johnson wins in the cup series and Ryan Newman wins again in the Bush series. What the fuck? I don't know, dude. How the fuck has Ryan Newman won all these Bush series races? Like, that's probably 20 of the 30 races or something. How is Bobby Labonte leading the championship? I haven't seen him win any races. What sense does any of this make? And I think the team I'm about to buy in the Bush Series has Ryan Newman on it. Hmm. That's something to consider. And we got the pull on the first lap. So, destruction! Uh... What the hell do you want? I got a phone message about buying a Nextel Cup team. Okay. What is going on, my man? It is Ace Moneymaker, and it is time to take it to the top level, baby. I'm talking the Nextel Cup team. You got the bucks, man. Let's make it happen. We do not. I mean, maybe if I sell all three of the teams I have now, that's possible. I don't know if the game somehow keeps track of, like, the total money that I could have or something. Mark Martin wins in the Bush Series. Okay. Mark Martin. What the fuck does he drive in the Bush Series? I, I don't know that one. I don't even remember passing Mark Martin in the Bush Series when I raced there. I, I have no memory of it. But, y'all know how Atlanta goes. We're super, super duper fast. But they don't let us get away from everybody. Takes a lot of effort to pull that off. Pull out the gas just a little bit. I guess I'm tapping the brakes too. We're wandering up the track. But Bill Lester is not getting past us. I'm trying to pull Bill Lester in the draft. And we'll lead the first lap of the race. Look at that straightaway speed. But then we're just going to lose it all in the corners. Anyways, I check with the team command. It says Bill Lester's pitting this lap. There he goes, pulling off. I'm going to slow down very quickly. 
Okay, we got it under 70. We have no damage. We've just been out in clean air, except it doesn't matter because rubber banding makes the, the people behind us stay close to us. It's weird. It becomes very apparent they have rubber banding. If you're in first place, if they can, they will stay right next to you. But other cases where if you're just too much faster than what they've given the AI, then they can't do it. It's looking like a good, normal, fast pit stop. No fuck-ups. Nice. Well, and not, not so much. That's, that's 16. Bill Lester just beat us off. Well, I don't think I'm getting that spot back before the end of the lap. So it looks like he's going to lead a lap. Which prevents me from gaining points back on him. There's no traffic behind us. So I don't have to worry about Deborah Rinshaw crashing into me again. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a second longer than it should have been. Because I'm used to having 14 nines. That, that was 16. Interesting how I could not get away from him. Now that I'm in, in second, we're just going to drive right up to him. We're going to cover this whole gap. Bigger than any gap I ever had on him earlier in the race. Because of rubber banding. And well, that's not even Chase Montgomery. So I don't... Jason Montgomery's just not on it this race. He he hasn't been third at all. I mean, look, he might be fifth or sixth. So yeah, we are ending this season off with the championship clinched one and two, going into Homestead at this moment. I mean, that's how it's looking to me. Yeah, I just drove right the hell up to him. Once I take the lead, that that no, none of that. That don't happen. Okay, so um, this run did not turn out the same. I guess because the pack wasn't behind him, we pulled away to a, a, a really huge lead. There was no, like, push of rubber banding behind him. I don't know. But we went one and two again. This is legend difficulty. On NASCAR 06, no assists. You buy a team that was already pretty solid, and then you maximize all their resources. And... You are an unstoppable force. But I'm thinking the only way to get the most out of this game is to not upgrade the team all the way, like maybe 90% or something. Because we've been at 100% all freaking year. And there was like nine other levels. I could just pay less. What is this? A charity event at IRP? And yeah, he's sending me a, a message about it. I don't want to run the charity event because I already have so many other things to do in this video. So our next actual truck race to run is at Texas. Elliot Sadler won in the Cup Series. Ooh. Kevin Harvick won the charity event in the Truck Series. Stu Floyd won in Modifieds. L Trigger won in the Bush Series. Who the heck is that? And Tony Stewart won in Cup at Atlanta. That name does not ring a bell at all. But I own, like, a three-car team in the Bush Series, and I just don't pay any attention to it. Is that one of my drivers? L Trigger. Luke Trigger. Fantasy driver. I, I just don't know if it's one of my fantasy drivers. But yeah, this track has always been tough on us. Like, no matter what, it still is now. Qualified top ten? Yeah, ninth. Start from the inside. I don't feel like running another lap. So, destruction! I've got Kyle Clayton and Roger Sweeney and Timothy Marshall. And then this Luke Trigger guy who's way, way down in the point standings. He, he's not one of my drivers. No. Hmm. So that was just completely random. No trace at all of this game even trying to make sense right there. <laughs> Random fancy driver that's at the bottom of the point standings wins um, Bush Series race. How and why? I, I have no idea. But here we are. We started from the inside lane and we're, we're just hanging on. We're barely making it happen. Okay, so this is the second Truck Series race this track. This, I think, this is the one where we don't have to pit at all in this race. Unless there's a caution, then maybe it would be a good idea to pit, because then everyone else will, I, I think. Oh my god, where are you going, truck? You bounced up the track instead of just staying at the bottom. Well, we still have the bottom to ourselves. That, that's nice. 
Just trying to keep it in one piece. Survive all this BS. What I do have to worry about is why my truck keeps going to the outside and turn three and four. But, um, uh, uh, um, Bill Lester. Yeah, that's my teammate's name. Yeah, Bill Lester. Because he's going to pit automatically. So I, I got to worry about him. But, but the thing is, what can I do about him taking a pit stop? If I switch to him, then maybe Mikey Kyle will take a pit stop. So I think I just have to take the blunt impact of whatever dumb AI shit happens to Bill Lester in this race. I do not know what I was supposed to do there. I had a big run. I am going to press buttons be before they wreck my truck. So I guess we're all heading down pit road, dude. Yeah. Yep. 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 If y'all could give us a, a nice pit stop, that would that would be nice. They they are not going to give us a nice pit stop. He is just going to throw the tire across pit road in a very abnormal manner. And the camera's broken again. I gained positions on pit road in a pit stop where they made a mistake. What are you doing? Why are you trying to block me whenever I'm to your inside? I had a run in, in I don't even know. EA Sports AI, stupid as shit, every game. So, we're fourth now. Chase Montgomery's not here now. And it's one of those Texas races. Hmm. So, now, we can focus on either winning Mikey Kyle this race, or winning the Lesser this race. The Lesser is in position, but he might be able to do it on his own. And I'll just have to worry about getting past Ricky Craven, Ron Horaday. We struggle to have grip of this track, so I have to deal with crap like that. Well, I am not doing anything for Mikey Kyle right here. So, I'm going to swap to Bill Lester. I took control of the steering mid-corner. That's not smart or safe. But we've got straightaway speed. We've got a little more grip than Mikey Kyle. It always goes that way with our, our teammates. Coming to two to go right here. We're going to zip zap right up to Ron Hornaday. You know it. We've got a whole two laps to make this pass. In the brakes to set up the, the corner. I need to set up the exit too. Okay, there we go. Oh, we're going to pass him right here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What are you doing? You can't block me. This run is too big. Why did they do that? Like they, they could be blocking me way before that, but they wait until right whenever I'm behind them. Well, we're going to get a big run right here, too. Coming to the white flag. Damn it, Ron Hornaday. And we have no room again going into the corner. I think we're not winning this race. And I have to give up the, the bottom to not hit the apron. If we get a big runoff turn four, we can win this. Or I could just do this. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, big old arc. Come on. Whoa! Holy shit! Okay, we got Bill Lester the win. That was hard. That was challenging. And we're still dominating the standings, but at least we're having interesting races. And Mikey Kyle lost a spot. What the? I had him in fourth, and then he gave up the spot to the Mr. Clean Truck 120. So that's bullshit, because I was able to keep that. Why the heck weren't you? Well, to be fair, the truck is damaged. AI can't drive the truck as good as the player. I was gonna name this video Checkers or Wreckers, but I don't have any checkers to eat. Unless Post Editor 1424 is eating checkers while he edits the video. That's a possibility. But anyways, yeah, after that race, we lose a bit of our lead to Bill Esser because he went and won it, and Mikey Kyle, he just sat back in the, the top five, top ten area. Well, we all both gained points on Chase Montgomery, and that is what matters. So it looks like we're having it pretty much on lockdown to win this championship before we even get to the last race. We got uh, two races to go. Yes, that is correct. Now we're going to Phoenix. Tony Stewart wins the O'Reilly Challenge in the Bush Series. You stupid leech. Greg Biffle keeps on winning in the Cup Series. I don't know how qualifying usually goes at Phoenix, 
because we only race here once a season and we've never qualified at this track with this caliber of performance in our truck because last season it was only like 50% because they had a, a, a cap on it since it was like a lower tier team that I bought but it's looking good so far I hit the wall off turn 4 last lap so this lap is automatically better wait are we top 10 or what Oh, we're 12. That's all on the outside. It's not even in the top 10. Well, looks like we have some traffic in this race. But I think we'll still be more competitive than ever. Because of what we bring to the track. Oh my god. Bill Lester started on pole. And Chase Montgomery is right behind him. It looks like Bill Lester is planning on giving away the lead on the first damn lap. And Deborah Rinshaw is still a, a fucking asshole. This is annoying. Okay, so, yeah, Bill Lester, he is protecting that lead. He, he's driving away. They said Chase Montgomery is stuck on the outside, so that's nice. I did not do anything on that first lap. Oh, but I could do something on the second lap. They all stack up into turn one. Ugh. Barely bumped Deb Renshaw. Oh, we got Chad Chapman sitting in the way. And everyone keeps cutting me off. It's, it's literally EA Sports NASCAR game shit. What the fuck? I mean, I get terrible run off the corner anyway, so I can imagine how they don't want me underneath them to fuck up the rest of their corner. Okay, that was not a good entry to turn one. We're still just hanging with them. Yeah, Chase Montgomery, he's stuck on the outside. He's losing five damn spots or something. Okay, I'm just going to send it in. I'm not going to wait for you to cut me off again and again. I got to work on it. Okay, we're going to use that straightaway speed. We're going to pull up underneath them. I am dig, dig, digging. And I am battling with Chad Chapman. I almost wrecked the damn truck. I saved that. I want this truck to turn better and drive faster, but... Unfortunately, they are not letting that happen. Oh, this is new to me. I was not expecting to be this held back at, at Phoenix. They're going to make me lose this championship, aren't they? What's wrong is the truck doesn't turn and the truck ain't fast. And Chad Chaffin won't stop racing. And it's kind of annoying. I'm, I'm tired of racing Chad Chaffin. I'm trying to turn. I don't know what to do. It, it, it's, that's all it, it can turn. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Um, people are taking pit stops. We're coming to the halfway point soon. Bill Lester is just driving away with the lead right now. I don't like where this is going. If he keeps winning and I keep finishing way back here, we lose the championship at Homestead, a track that's always challenging. So, I think my best option would be to not take tires that are stopped. Maybe even just right side tires. I have no idea. Oh my god, we're getting loose. Yeah, we have to pit this time. I think everyone does. Or maybe not, because they always use less fuel. We are moving forward through the pack, finally, now that I'm getting down to it and, and focused a bit more so yeah there goes Bill Lester let's catch him going into the pits and then I fucking speed in like a fucking bozo I want to take 1.5 cans I can't do that because we used up almost the entire tank in the first half of the race so we're just going to change left side tires and then we're going to take off and hopefully still have, have gotten the lead despite the penalty which I it's five seconds. Nope, nope. It was 15.4 in total, and he, he still has the lead. What the hell am I supposed to do? I'm too stupid to just take my points back and win the championship, apparently. All these guys are coming off pit road. All I really can do is try to finish second. Which, I mean, we're going to clear Ron Hornaday. We're going to catch Bobby Hamilton. We only changed left side tires, so I don't think I actually have the strength to pass him. I could switch to Bill Lester and just make him lose points, but I want to see if he can actually earn this. Because I'm throwing it away. We are going to pass Bobby Hamilton going to this corner. Okay, this is some kind of rubber banding shit. And then you did not let me clear. You tried forced that to happen. Now there's go Chase Montgomery. I mean, who gives a damn at this point? I can't stand this. Uh, this is pissing me off. I, I cannot be raced by three trucks at the same goddamn time. I can barely race one because they don't give me room. They touch my quarter panel and then we're, we're stuck together forever. 
and ever. So, yeah, I passed four trucks, and I still have two more to pass, even though I already had two more to pass before that corner last lap. Ugh. All I need to do is finish second so that we don't lose so many damn points. And caution would be great. Open up the opportunity for me to take the lead from Bill Lester before the race is over. I, I really wish they would stop leaving just the width of a truck at the bottom of the track to pass. Once I'm already there. That's so fucking rude and annoying. And the reason why we all go nailing the freaking wall in that corner. Because I'm going to pass them because I'm faster. But then they just sit in the goddamn way. And we get locked together, we hit the wall. But we're second. In this stupid race already. I don't even know what just happened right there. I just drove him down from like three seconds behind, only changing left side tires at Phoenix. This track is not freshly paved. How the fuck did that even just happen? And because of that, we gained just five points on him. We don't lose points, we gain five points. And then Chase Montgomery, god dang, he lost 25 points to Mikey Kyle and 20 points to Bill Lester. Here we are in victory lane. We're sitting at almost $5 million in the bank now. And that does it. Going into Homestead, we've got positions one and two on lockdown in the Truck Series standings. Yeah, Chase Montgomery cannot get to Bill Lester or Mikey Kyle. I think it's slightly possible that Bill Lester could, you know, win the race and Mikey Kyle finish like 30th or something, and, and then maybe we wouldn't have the championship with him. But I, I think as long as we just run fine Homestead, we've got that taken care of. So we're going to go sim through another Bush Series race, another Cup Series race, the last modified series race of the season, and go qualifying for Homestead. Ryan Newman wins the Bush Series at Phoenix. Of course he does. He wins almost every race in that series. And Greg Biffle wins at Phoenix in the Cup Series. And T. Lewis won the final modified race. Here are the stats for our team going into the final race of the season. 12 wins. Seven wins. That is 19 in total. We both got 20 top fives, 18 top fives, and 22 and 21 top tens. We've always kind of sucked at this track. I mean, not terrible, terrible suck. Like, you know, normal suck. Like, not as bad as Texas sucking. But just struggling to run top ten probably at this point. Because that's what we're doing on rookie difficulty with the 50% upgraded truck. I already told you about that last race. But in this circumstance, it's legend difficulty and it's completely maximized. Okay, we're starting 7th. That's exactly what I expected. One more time. Destruction! One last time. Got the Mikey Kyle tank top on. Ordered off my uh, Teespring store. Which, I mean, that that's probably pops up right below the video. A link to it. Like, the, the store display stuff. But, uh, yeah. This is it. Our final race in the Craftsman Truck Series. It's something that's been around since 
I think, part two of the series because they offered us a part-time ride late in the season with some Bob the Builder truck. And then we had the Walmart truck and we bought this team. Oh, God, I had nothing to do with that. that I didn't do that. That's not my fault. Yeah, the this, this truck sucks. It, it won't turn. It's got straightaway speed, like always, but dang it if it don't turn. There we go. Big ol' runoff. What are you doing? You, you fuckhead. You fuck nugget. Stupid. What is that? Unnecessary. So, uh, yeah, Bill Lester, he is he's running second right now, and I'm just running out of grip on the bottom. You know, I don't have grip anywhere I go at this track. So, like I said, we, we just have a, a normal amount of suckage at this track, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do about it. Uh, and maybe we've run better than this at some points on accident. But always because of straightaway speed, I can pull away from, like, one or two guys. And just like that, we're just chilling in seventh. Now, you might ask, why the heck do I just settle for the first qualifying lap whenever I could do better? It's like, it's because of the commentary. I hate having to redo commentary after doing a first lap. <laughs> as long as the commentary is good enough and we're qualifying good, at this point in the season, it doesn't really matter. So either way, it's all depends on how I actually run the race. Oh, that was a good entry to the corner. That was good. We need a great big runoff. We're going to pass Bobby Hamilton down this straightaway. I got his draft. I'm, I'm sniffling the draft. Get out of the way. Okay, well, we got to slow down for the corner. And we're clear. We were clear. Now, yeah, we were, we got the clearing cleared of clearedness. Well, halfway through the race... And getting low on fuel. I don't feel like spinning this damn thing out by staying out too long. Can we not speed in this time? We did not speed in that time. But that was a wacky, McWonky, donkey entry to pit road. The pit wall is so close together. And it just narrows out right there. That's why they want to use the access road. But like, I can't do that because there's no grip on the freaking apron. For the player. So, they can't do what the AI can. Take one last good look at this truck and this final pit stop we're taking. Because this is it. <laughs> the end of the Grease Lightning truck legacy. Someone else is going to drive this truck with some other freaking sponsor. Um, like, once I'm done with it. Okay, here we go. I don't really have an option here. I have to drive down here at the bottom of the track. Where it's flat and there's like no grip. Okay. That was so slow. That was so ridiculously slow. I mean, we're ahead of all those guys behind us that pit before us, I guess. Yo. Yo. No way. This is so weird. This is so weird. Oh my god. Look at us go. Holy shit. No way. What? <laughs> what the fuck? How, how do I make up such a big gap on pit road? What? Was it my entry? Because I thought I would have lost time because of the exit. Well, tickle my pickle. We just won Homestead. <laughs> that is our 13th win of this season. Oh my god, what happened to Bill Esther? He finished 9th. Oh yeah, that's right! We're back-to-back -back NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series Champions! Mike and Kyle, the two-time Craftsman Truck Series Champion. One of few, although there's other guys who won it three times. Oh, this is the shot. You get to see it again. We're gonna do it after this one. Yeah, there we go! Where's the, the Craftsman Truck Series Championship Trophy? It should be like off in the corner or something. We won the championship and they didn't even give us a trophy. Also, where was the guy that does like the, the, the moonwalk? What, what what was the deal with all that? I don't know. So we're going to click this and that dude right there in the corner, he's going to run that race. Uh, Tony Stewart wins the final Bush Series race. And then Greg Biffle wins again in the Cup Series. He wins a lot of Cup Series races. 
So here's the results of the modified season. Of course, it's Alan Walker. We had Terry Green, of all people. That was pretty close to him. But it's always freaking Alan Walker. And I guess we might as well scroll down and see the final result for my drivers. Chase Diggs got back to 16th. And all the other guys, yeah, the lowest of the full-time drivers. How did they get, like, 300 points, 400 points less than these dudes up here? How did that happen? I don't understand. They specifically finished last every single race. We don't get to see the results, and I don't understand how that... I don't get it. That makes no sense to me. And the Truck Series standings at the end of 2008. Mikey Kyle and Bill Lester in second. Well, since we're going to be leaving this team and, and going on our Bush Series endeavors, I, I think Bill Lester might win the Truck Series championship next season. It's possible if he keeps up that kind of performance. But Chase Montgomery is really powerful no matter what. And in the Bush Series, freaking Bobby Labonte is a champion. What the fuck? Dude, how? How does Ryan Newman finish this championship 300 points behind him? He was winning every other race. More than every other race. He was winning most races. And then some he wouldn't win. I don't get that. And Shane Meal, fortunate to win maybe like one or two races. And you know Ryan Newman runs every race. Whenever we go run those races, he's there every time. I don't know, dude. J.J. Yilly, he won the... The Bush Series Championship last season, he finishes fourth, 649 back. And your 2008 Cup Series Champion is, oh my God, Greg Biffle is a Cup Series Champion. It's not Jimmy Johnson. Oh my God, it's always Jimmy Johnson and Greg Biffle did it. Tony Stewart, almost 69 points behind him. No one retired at the end of 2008. And they don't have retirements for any other series aside from Cup. So we're going to get out of this. I have no messages? Damn. Well, here's this screen. I never really look at this screen because I don't think it really matters to the career mode. For game completion, sure. You know, it tells you at the bottom the unlockables, chase plates, uh, skill tasks. But for career, it only tells you how many fans we have. 3.42 million. And then... That we're a hero, because we don't wreck people all the freaking time. We wreck, like, one guy every other race. So, I, that that's fair. But, uh, yeah, at one point, I lost a ton of fans. Because I wasn't running the Bush Series. Which was so strange. You could just lose fans by not running a higher series. Which I guess makes sense. Less people pay attention to the Truck Series than the Xfinity Series. But I didn't think it'd be such a big impact. So, now we're going to go to the race shop. And... I need to hire a driver for the truck series, and I need to sell this Bush Series team because I want to buy a better team. We're going to get $3.62 million for this, which will put us at $8.95 million. Oh my god. I got to put sponsors on all these cars too. But that's for the next episode of this series, whenever we buy our Bush Series team. And we get a new sponsor for it, new driver, and we finally charge for a Bush Series championship in 2009. Something we could not do with PPC and their piece of crap unsponsored tin car. But thanks for watching this 12-part uh, segment of our fight to the top as local racing legend, Mikey Kyle. And don't forget it, you can always go to the, the Teespring store and get one of these uh, fiber band truck tank tops. It's like the third damn time I've mentioned this video, but I don't want it to be left you know, forgotten. It, it was it was a special part of this channel, getting to drive that truck. It is probably the best paint job we're going to have the entire series, because I don't think anything compares with what we're going to do in the Bush series and in the Cup series once we get there. See you next time. That's that, and episode over.